Hello, praise the Lord, somebody. And I want to shout a big hallelujah. It's the last day of the month of November 2023. And God so awesome. He kept us from January 1st to, and enabled us to see the last day of the 11th month. The month of what? God of the 11th hour. And I just want to pray for somebody listening to me today. This may be the last month of the year, of, of the month of November. The God of the 11th hour will arise concerning your case. That one thing you are asking God for. Before this December comes to an end, you will receive it in your hand and testify about it. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is your friend Rosemary and I'm welcoming you again on our 60 days of power and breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much everyone who's been sending me their comments, their, their, their prayer points. And for all those who've been asking me to pray, I would just want you to know I'm praying for you. I'm interceding for you. Before the end of the 60 days, your testimony shall not be missing. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Today is the 30 and we're still on our theme. That same spirit. You know, the book of Romans 8, 11, our anchor scripture says, if that same power that raised Christ from the dead is in you, it will revitalize, quicken, refresh your mortal body in every part of your life that you will be fulfilled in every aspect of life. Amen. We're standing on that scripture as we pray for the next, for, for the 60 days. And hey, today is the 30th. 30 more days to go. Wow, wow, wow. We can do it together. I'm so excited and I'm blessed to be doing this with you. Amen. We're going to go on. Today, yesterday we started uh, 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 on the series. We started uh, praying on Ruach. My God, Ruach. The breath of God. The wind of God. The power of the wind of God. The power of the breath of God. And yesterday we saw how Ruach empowers how the breath of God empowers, how Jesus breathed on his disciples and they became a different human being again after that. My God, it's your turn. It's your turn to receive rock. It's your turn to receive that fresh breath. Let's just pray and then we go into the prayer straight ahead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Thank you for another time like this. A time to come before you just as we are. And seek your face. To know you more. To love you more. To, to, to just bask in you more. Thank you, Father. Come have your way today again. Come lead us. Come help us to pray as we ought to. Give us enlightenment open our eyes to see you and know you and love you more lord jesus thank you father for your breath your breath of life that is upon us thank you for giving us choosing to give us your breath your life thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name amen amen Yes, yes, yes. On Monday, we started on the theme, Born of the Spirit. The power of the Spirit of God. The power of the Spirit of God. In the life of a believer, it makes you that supernatural being. Jesus said, he said, just as the wind goes to and fro, nobody can see, nobody can know where the wind is coming from. They can only feel the effect. He says, so is every man that is born of the Spirit. You carry that power to change atmosphere. You carry that power to change circumstances. You carry that power to change situation. And yesterday, we saw how Jesus breathed, breathed on the disciples and empowered them with the power to be able to forgive sins, with the power to be able to do supernatural things. And today, we're going to continue. Hallelujah. I love the scripture. So we'll go straight into the scripture and then we'll pray. My God, Ruach of God, the Ruach of God. Let us look at another scripture that will open us more to the power of the breath of God. Amen. 
Ezekiel. I love this scripture. This is one scripture I love praying. You know, I, I, I love preaching from. I preached from this scripture. I prayed about it. And it's so significant because, you know, the Bible calls the prophet. They are like men, like you and I. And the stories in the Bible, the, they are, they are uh, um, uh, um, proof for us believers that we can live that life that these prophets live. It's not just a story. They are, they, they, they are guidelines. They are, I'm, I'm trying to, to get the right word. They are pointers to us that if this man can do this, we can do more as children of God. And hey, listen. They didn't carry the Holy Spirit inside of them. But you and I, we carry that sweet spirit in us. We carry that powerful being inside of us. The book of Ezekiel 37, the Bible talks about how God carried Ezekiel, carried the prophet to a valley full of dry bones. These bones were people that were dead, their, 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 their flesh was far rotten and gone. They, are, they were so dead, dead, dead that their bones were separated from each other. The, 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 the marrows were all disappeared. Everything was gone. I don't know how many of you did biology in your in your middle school or uh, high school. When you go into the biology lab or you, or the science lab, you just see those skeletons standing. I used to be so scared of them. But this is the kind of when well, if you can imagine that skeleton because that's the closest I've seen of skeleton, you know. But the Bible is talking about a more deteriorated case. It said the skeletons were scattered. These skeletons were, you know, one head could be in the north, the hand is in the south. They were scattered everywhere. But listen, in verse, the Bible begins to talk about how God said to the prophet, he said, prophesy. He said, begin to speak. He said, speak to these bones, they will come together. He said, speak to these bones, they will come together. Ah, <laughs> the Lord said to, to the prophet, in verse, uh, let, let me back it up. Let me back it up a bit. I just wanted to go straight to where we want to pray from. But let me back it up a bit. <laughs> uh, the back, God said, again in verse 4, again he said unto me, prophets, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, all ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath. I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. Then let's go down to verse 8. And when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. And said he unto me, prophesy to the wind. Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Lord God, Come into the come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. I prophesied to somebody listening to me. There must have been a dead case in your situation. There must, they, 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 your case, the, your file has been thrown away. Your file has been written off. You know that they, you know they, they, they can never be a case. They, they can never be a solution. But I prophesied to you today. By the breath of God, life is coming back to that situation. I say life is coming back to that situation. Life is coming back to that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. My spiritual mother, Prophetess Moaka, she had a case, was married seven years or eight years, no child. On her case, the doctor had written Nothing impo is impossible case. Nothing can be done. Her wombs that she didn't have fallopian tube or she didn't have whatever she had in the... Whatever the doctors had seen, 
They had written her case as impossible. They wouldn't even try. They wouldn't even give it a chance. But to the glory of God, when God stepped in, when the wind of God stepped in, when the breath of God came upon her, she today have four, four grown boys and a beautiful daughter. This is a woman that was said called barren. Case of impossibility. What is that case? What is that situation that the doctors have told you is impossible? That the doctors have told you you can never have a hope? That the doctors have told you you can never have help? I come to you by the wind of the Holy Spirit. I come to you in the might of the power of the God, of Almighty God. And I declare that that case is becoming possible today in the name of Jesus. I decree that case is becoming possible for you today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, it said, son of man, prophesy. There is power in the breath in your mouth. There is power in the words that you carry. Because as you speak, it comes out with the breath. It comes out with the wind of God. It comes out with a power. A power that changes situation. A power that turns a dead situation. The Bible says, a dead, dead bones became a mighty army dead bones became a mighty army dead bones became a mighty army over your case they may have given up on you they may have forsaken you but i speak over you today by the power of the wind of heaven you are becoming a mighty army i say you are becoming a mighty army you may have been discarded you may have been discarded in that place where you have been forgotten in that place where you were discarded i did Decree today, honor is coming to you. Honor is coming to you. Honor is locating you in that very place. In the name of Jesus. He said the dead bones had life after he breathed on them. After he breathed on them, they had life. Oh, Rabba, shake it, There's someone listening to me. I hear my spirit say you have been denied over and over, over that thing, that one thing that you desire so much. You have been denied. But today, God is saying yes to you. God is saying yes to that situation. God is saying yes to that situation. God is saying yes to you in that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will testify. I say you will testify. You will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. As the breath of God locates you. Even in that maka to Kabranege, in Brozopalanda, in that very circumstances where you have given up, I decree life is locating you right now in the name of Jesus. They say it's not possible. How can dead bones, how can dead bones come to life? Not only come to life, how can dead bones become a mighty hammer? By the power of the wind of God, I decree over somebody listening to me. I say impossibility is becoming possible for you. As this year comes to an end, as you cross over into December 2023, I say it is your month of possibilities. It is your month of possibilities. It is your month of possibilities. Every impossibility is becoming possible for you. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I say, so shall it be. I say, so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Impossibility becomes possible. Impossibility becomes possible just by the breath of God. 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 I say you are receiving your own testimony. You are receiving your testimony. If it's the same God that did it in the life of Ezekiel, Monday, Gabon, Shetan. The Bible does not lie. It is that same God that we are calling upon. I say every dry bone in your life, uh, every dry bone in your marriage, every dry bone in your finances, every dry bone in your, in your, in your ministry, every dry bone in your destiny. I say from today they are receiving life. They are receiving life. They are receiving life. They are receiving life in the name of Jesus. Receive life. 
receive life. Life is coming to that womb. That womb that the devil has said will never have a child. <laughs> Let me make you did you tell you a story? A woman in the Bible. The Bible makes us understand that God had sealed her womb. But when she cried to God, just the way we're crying to God today, God opened her womb. I pray for you. Whatever it is that had sealed your womb, your womb of financial fruitfulness, your womb of business fruitfulness, your womb of natural fruitfulness, whatever it is that have blocked it, today in the name of Jesus, by the power of the wind of God, I command it to be open. I command it to be open. I command it to be open in the name of Jesus. Ye pro le kanda ye ke to dande ibra anto e ke so to la bra ganda ya iko to le kre shita la bro so pa ya ganda la ba de ye ne bro so pra de ge de ba 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 ya do ne bo shata de de he go so pa ya da da ba the wind of God is moving over you the wind of God is moving over your family the wind of God is moving over your family the wind of God is moving over your children the wind of God is moving over your plans in the name of Jesus. Jesus, receive the life of the wind of God. Receive the life of the wind of God. Receive the life of the wind of God. From today, nothing dies in your hand. I say from today, nothing dies in your life. I say from today, nothing dies in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see God restoring new organs in the body. Hey! Akuta and payada. New organs. Hey! New organs, new organs. God is restoring new organs, new organs. Santa Lee Tanama. New organs. Receive it. Receive it. Receive Tata Tupaya. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 For you believe in God for that one thing. I decree again. It is your season of impossibilities. Don't give up. Because the wind of God is blowing all things to you in favor, in your favor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. This is your friend, Pastor Rosemary. I invite you to join me again tomorrow. And remember, on Saturday, I'll be live at 2 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So join me. Join me. U.S. Central Time at 2 p.m. I'll be live. Let's pray together as we release the wind of heaven to blow everything good in our favor. God bless you. Remember, I love you. God loves you more. Bye for now. From the foundations of the world, God kept on and gave us that same spirit to attain to a higher realm through prayers as it is written. Sixty days of power and breakthrough. That same spirit with Pastor Rosemary Kaiting.